Hello, everyone. Oh, I had mic problems. I, I accidentally turned off my microphone. I didn't notice. That's an issue. Anyway, hope this works out. I'm back. Hi. How's everyone doing? I'm going to have a fan on the background because it's hot, so I hope the EQ takes care of that later. Hi, Isabel's always rambling. There's no news today, so let's go. Off we go. It's been way too long. Now there's a siren as soon as I start recording because that's basically how things go here. Let's check the mail and see what's been going on. Yesterday I had Gullivar, so let's see what we got here. Oh, swanky, I didn't read. Sorry, my dreams last night. There's lots of weird dream stuff happening on this island. Maybe it's haunted by dinosaurs. All right, we got Gullivar yesterday, or Gullivar. He's the new guy. Pirate treasure ra. What? Pirate treasure robe. Oh, fun. Sure, I'll wear that for a while. I am struggling to find what to say because it has been a very long time since I've felt like doing video. Well, that's not true. It's been a very long time since I've found the energy to do a video. I've felt like doing videos more often, and then I kept getting weird about it. Especially the longer it gets, the more you feel like you should make a big deal about how it's been a while and have something special lined up. I just realized, well, I had like the big thing pop up which I plan to take like a week off for to deal with. Oh my god, I haven't listened to the cicadas. Oof, I haven't really played with headphones when I haven't been recording, and I haven't listened to what the cicadas sound like. It's awful. Ooh, it's like real cicadas. Anyway, I planned to take a week off, which I've like talked about on the community thing. So, I planned to take a week off. I'm pretty sure it's been four or five weeks at this point. I haven't checked. And then that feels like I need to make some kind of big thing about it, because it's been a long time. And shouldn't you mention something about that? Okay, so we don't have anyone in the plaza. But, um, I'm back to make some videos. Hello there. Becky? What's the latest? You got a bright and early today? The early chickens get their to-do list done? Oh my god, they all have the same personality. It's a problem. Why do all the birds have the same personality? What did I do? Oh my god, horns, come on. Really? Trying to make a comeback video. <laughs> if, anyway, there was that. I was pushing myself really hard on some things. I'm trying to figure out some other stuff I want to do with my life because the videos aren't all of it, obviously. I've been trying to find some meaning in some other things, possibly need to go back to school for something. There's a lot of complicated stuff happening. A lot of complicated things happening in my personal life. But, you know, I was kind of missing this as, like, a hobby thing. Eh. And if I enjoy making stuff, people should enjoy them more. And the thing is, I was pushing myself so freaking hard. Oh, no, there's a... Dang it, there's a small stone over there, and I missed it. So I missed out on a... Looks like I only missed out on one coin. That's interesting. Seems like I got all the big bags of money. I didn't know that's how that worked. Aha. So I realized that I was kind of taking all the joy and enjoyment out of what I was doing. I wasn't enjoying these for the sake of enjoying them. Ooh, making them. I was enjoying them for, like, the sake of watching my numbers happen. I'm not going to make good or enjoyable content that way. Hello, Frigia. Let's see. Oh, done so nice. everything you hoped it would be. Yes, it is. I've been giving the villagers a lot of clothes because I discovered that giving them gifts is how you get uh, get presents from them. Oh right, my shuffle broke. I've also been storing a lot of tools out in front of my house so that I can stop having to go back and grab tools later. It's been nice. I've been enjoying that. And we already found three of our fossils, which is fun. I like that too. It's been flying through this episode. Um, not a lot has changed, honestly. We had one big, big, big change, which is that Deirdre decided to move out, and we replaced her with, um, Weber, I want to say? Who moved into where Deirdre is? Yes, Weber. Weber moved in. We now have the Bird Island. Yes, Flora keeps trying to move out. I love Flora. Flora is, like, my full-on favorite in the village, but I think if she asks to move out again, I might let her, because she's been here the longest of anyone so far, and it could be nice to, like, change out for someone 
with a different personality. But last time she moved out, I didn't feel like losing my favorite villager. Also, if she moved out, and even if she moved in again, her house would be better, because she's also the last villager we have that has the, um, that has the starter house. So that could be nice as well. So how's everyone been doing? It's been a long time. I hope everyone's doing well. I've been doing okay. Pretty okay, anyway. I've been having a difficult time dealing with, like, personal stuff that I'm not going to go into a huge amount. Just found out a thing about my past that I did not know, which is always a bit weird, because I was talking to one of my parents, and then... All of a sudden, they're like, oh, yeah, or this thing that happened to you when you were a kid. And I'm like, I have no memory of this, and that's kind of awful, and now I don't know what to do with this information. So, there's that. That's vague enough for you, right? So I've been dealing with that, and I also have been realizing that I've been putting a massive ton of pressure on myself and everything in my life. So that's a thing. I started reading this book, or listening to this book on Buddhism, Something about how to open your heart in hard times. I wish I had the thing in front of me, because it's a good book. It's worth... And they have this whole thing on not trying so danged hard. Oh, hello. The ducks are hanging out together. That's racist. Hello. Mallory just showed up, too. Hi, Weber. Piano bench fits my butt. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. Hi, Mallory. I'm here to see weather too. Let's chat. The layout here is fresh and energetic. <coughs> it's several instruments put together. I suppose one could call that fresh and energetic if you enjoy instruments. Which I kind of do. Instruments are fun. Wow, it's barely 10 minutes in and we've found every fossil save one. Who's here? It's not red. And it's no one in the plaza. So let's see. Um. Sahara was here not too long ago. Flick was here not too long ago. I guess it could be CJ. I haven't seen CJ in a little bit. Could be Gulliver, because Gulliver was yesterday, so it could be Gulliver. I haven't seen Gulliver in a while. Hmm. I guess we'll see. We shall wander. Alright, so that's all the fossils then. So now I just need to run around and see who's here. The flowers are running wild. I have not been wanting to change anything. Basically because I haven't been recording, I haven't really wanted to change anything fundamentally. So the island itself is basically exactly the same. Which I realize is kind of weird and boring because if I'm going to do more spaced out videos, which I might because daily videos are a little bit of a push here. Depending. Straw umbrella hat. I have like three of those. Yes, I do. I know how to make the straw umbrella hat. Everyone deserves to make a straw umbrella hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't disagree, except everyone I know also already has the straw umbrella hat. Why are you doing this to me? So, like, I'm, I'm probably going to do more incremental videos, and then update things would be good. I could take you around while I do my chores and show you all the things that changed, and then you wouldn't have to watch me tediously placing items. <laughs> but instead, I chose willfully to not change a single thing on the island because I felt bad doing it off camera, <laughs> which is part of the thing I was talking about, is, is feeling weirdly obligatory about what I record instead of just enjoying the process of making the videos forcing them to be in this weird certain thing that I've been doing instead of letting them evolve and change based on the situation and the motorcycles going by. Oh my god, there's dirt bikes everywhere. What's happening? It's pretty awful. Oof. Anyway, since I found all of my fossils really quick, I'm pretty sure now my other daily hunt is going to be a... Oh, it is CJ. Hello, CJ. You're stuck up on a cliff. Oh no. The Siege! C to the J! Hello! Coming at you, standing by you. Anyway, C Sports Challenge! Yep, then you offer your premium thing. Only buy after a challenge to keep it interesting. Everyone's aboard. Fresh fish from the live stream. The lucky angler gets showered in bells. C Sports Challenge. Yep, and then you, your lover flick makes collectibles. C Sports Challenge. 
Alright, let's dive into the challenge. Small fries. Catch horse mackerel sized fish. Those have actually not been spawning as much. I'll break my streak. Yada 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 da, 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 da. I know so many rules. Let's go. Off we go. I, would, I only came up here to grab this stick, to be honest with you. If we're being honest about it. There we go. So not a lot has changed. I've been continuing my flower breeding program. I'm kind of running out of places to put these. I know. Five Star Island problems, am I right? I've been running out of places to put my special flowers that only spawn after I get a perfect island. Up we go. My friend has come over a couple times and he gave me a cutting board recipe, which is like the rarest DIY in the freaking game. I've also been finding most of the uh, ironwood furniture. Which basically means I am a god now. Lo, I have become carpenter, maker of furniture. That's not... I guess you can't really use the law of become death quote to describe Animal Crossing in any kind of meaningful way, can you? I'm done, thank you. That's all. Goodbye, the Balladas. We did get a lot. We've gotten basically all the fish and bugs this season. Except for the golden scarab beetle. I spent hours on an island the other day. I'm going to have to go through this week, because I, I like to get all the bugs before the end of the month. It's just a thing. It's just something that I like and am into as a concept. So, our flower breeding program has been getting some better results. These two reds have a very, very small chance of getting us the uh, blue that we're looking for. This one needs to parthenogenesize and clone itself so we can get another orange there, and that one will have a chance of giving us reds that will have a much better chance of giving us blues, so this is our best bet here. But we're still on the way. The flowers have been, have been breeding or growing infuriatingly slowly. Spawning? Seeding, I suppose? They've been going kind of infuriatingly slowly. Over here, I just have a bunch of random flowers that I don't know what to do with. This here, I'm just trying out as sort of a reject pile that I'm going to let kind of grow wildly. They both came from the ones that should be carrying some version of the blue genes, but I... Um, like, they failed the tests. Like, you can test them a bit. Where is my... Where is my... Um... Um, bottle. Where's my message in a bottle today? I think I scoured all the beaches except for down here. Did I check down here? See, this is what I got from Gullivar the first time. This is my pirate treasure. I'm going to set up a small pirate area over there, probably. Or do something else on the beach. There we go. I want to make a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I want to check this first, see if I'm going to sell it. Natural garden chair. I already have this. Ugh. Ugh. I haven't found a new DIY in ages. Not in ages. All right, let's go to the store first. Sell all of this, see if there's anything in the store we want to buy to give villagers. Everyone's still singing. Oh yeah, I got new pets. There's my horseshoe crab, and there's is my turtle, who's gonna bite you, he's gonna bite you. And also my favorite, I wish these guys could go out of the water, but they can't, but they're in these boxes. The giant isopods. The giant isopods are the new thing. Well, them and the horseshoe crabs, and they're amazing, and I love them so much. Giant isopods are the cutest, the cutest little crustaceans. They're giant pill bugs. What's not to love? What do you call pill bugs? Blugs. What do you call pill bugs where you're from? Because I call them pill bugs. I grew up calling them pill bugs. I know some people have, like, roly-poly. I call them roly-polies. I am offering you all of this junk. I want to keep these two shirts. That shirt and pants are in, like ones that I like, so we'll just sell all this. Thank you. So back up to 50. Wonderful, wonderful. How has it only been 15 minutes? This episode's going way too smoothly. Baby bear? Yeah. Now this, this violin is frickin'... That's going to be like a hundred bells, right? 
Yep, 140. I already have a violin. I was just thinking I could like, give it to one of the villagers, but... Oof, that's gonna be too much. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna give this bear to someone. And then I'm going to go swimming. Because swimming is the new thing. Then I'm gonna talk about my plans for the rest of the island. So first things first, since we're right here, let's check on... The Able Sisters. Looks like they got a track thing in the window today. Hello. Oh, that dress. That's a fun dress. Do I have that dress? I'm not sure if I have that dress. I have a summer wardrobe picked out. It is in summer. It is midsummer. It has been 90 degrees here for the last four days. We are we are in peak summer. Cycling shirt. Eh. Eh. Where's this dress I saw? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Purchase, yes, please. Wear that out. Yes, please. Thank you. I like that. With the pink shoes. That's better. I like it with the pink shoes and the tiara. The mermaid tiara. Now, I'm sure that everyone's aware that the update... Hello, you can have a teddy bear. Hopper. I'm gonna give you this here teddy bear because you're Gwumpy. What in the baby bear? Wow, you like that. I was just thinking I could use one of these. Spiff up my place. Don't want any freebies. Have a PJ outfit. Why do they keep giving me these? Do they think I'm tired? Is it because I'm always playing the game at 3 in the morning? Why is this happening? Hello. Hi, Flo. This is like the gift rotor. Whoa! This is a normalized style, but I'm gonna try it on. It's awesome! There's a printed layered shirt! Oh my god! A printed layered shirt! Now we go over here and it's the regifting cycle! Because <laughs> I don't want any of these for the most part have a printed layered shirt. See, now Hopper doesn't see me giving his gift away. And that's where it ends, because she didn't give me anything back. That's how it works, though. The gift rotor. Hello, Becky. So, I have a plan to move that island. Not the island itself, but the stuff on the island. I like having the island. I like having the bridge to the island. It's a good idea. Um, the thing is, the bandstand's not working for me. No one ever goes over there. It's weird. I don't... I don't want it to be like that. I'm gonna put everything away here. Oh, I should have let, done the thing outside first. My house is looking kind of spiffed, spiffy. I want to redesign it so that I can have a living room slash kitchen area in here. Like, do a living room slash kitchen area with the, like, ironwood furniture on one side and then the ironwood kitchen and stuff on one side and then the uh, fancy stuff on the other side just to see but overall doing pretty well back up to an s up to an s ranking put this away plant that there we go now give me my bells give me dim bells dim bells dim bells now let's see, do I have anywhere where I need to put one of these lily o valleys? Or yes, one more. There we go. Have these everywhere. Cause flex them. I don't know what else to do with them also. Now let's put all of our stuff away and swim for a bit. As everyone knows, by now, the summer update included swimming. So we swim it every day. Don't drop it. Why are we doing this? Why? Storage. 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 And storage. There we go. See, there's my pet isopot. Hey, yo. Oh, the whole place set up well for that. Now, unfortunately, this will cover up my nice dress, but 
what you gonna do? What you gonna do when you need to swim? So our objective here is to find the scallop and then gain the wisdom of the scallop. Also, I forgot I'm supposed to be fishing up small fish. Completely forgot that I'm supposed to be doing the thing for CJ. I guess I need to, even though I don't think I have fish to sell right now. Yep, got a sea urchin. I need the scallops. Scallops are too rare. Some days it takes me a full, like, half an hour to find a scallop with how slowly you swim. Wee. So before, I was saying that this um, Buddhist book I've been listening to has been kind of helpful. And a lot of the idea is that you're trying too dang hard. Ah. I've been finding this sort of middle path concept very interesting, that you don't have to be like... You can hold two ideas in your head at the same time, which is something I'm already pretty good at. There's, a, there's another idea that I'm a big fan of called uh, multiplicity of mind, which is basically that you are not one distinct personality, but actually a coexisting group of personalities who all kind of have their own wants and needs and jockey for position, not in a competitive way, but in kind of a who's going to be the best at handling any given situation kind of way. And the problem that you can get in is if they stop kind of trusting you because of a bunch of ways that things have gone in your life, they can start taking over. That's what a lot of things would be. So this Buddhist idea is very similar. I'll say you're trying too dang hard to control everything, because not controlling stuff can make you uncomfortable. It can make me very uncomfortable, especially. I was actually reading a uh, psychoanalytic book the other day. I was very interested in um, how I kind of lined up with compulsive personality. It was not a disorder, it's just personality types in, psycho in uh, psychodynamic therapy models. <laughs> that is an interesting one, kind of obsessed with control and undoing mistakes. Which I do a lot. It's one of the reasons I didn't want to kind of <coughs> start doing videos again, because not doing videos, in my mind, is sort of a like, now I've disappointed everyone because I haven't made a video in too long. So what can you do that makes up for the fact that you did that? Because you can't just make a video, right? You can't just go back and do what you want. Oh my, oh my throat, again. <clears throat> mm. There, right, so you can't just go back and, you know, do what you want with stuff. You have to do something special. Because otherwise you aren't making up for the fact that you haven't made a video in ages. So it doesn't seem like there's a lot to make up for. I hope that the sound works out. That's something that I hope to make up for. <laughs> also, this video says it's only been recording for 20 minutes. It does not feel like that. We've got everything done. How have we been flying through this? So that's that concept. Now I'll talk about the island. So the bandstand island I like. I like having the bandstand. I want to move the band. At least most of it. So... My plan is to kind of switch the arcade bar and the band. I'm gonna, I want to even out the island a little bit, expand it slightly, turn the island into more of a like island bar, possibly with arcade. So turn the island into an island bar and arcade. Yeah, I've got too much like unused river space right now. It's becoming an issue. So turn the bar into that. Or turn the island into the bar. Then take the area that the bar is currently on and run some stuff up along the beach that direction and turn it into a boardwalk on that side of the island. Pearl Oyster. And basically that is my idea. Is to switch those two things. Now, depending on how long the scallop hunt takes, I might work on that a bit. We're gonna do the scallop hunt, and then we gotta do CJ's Sea Sports Challenge. Now, if those two things take a while, then I won't get started on that. If they don't, then I might get started. I'm not gonna finish because it's gonna take a while because there's too many things to move. The main thing that I might do, especially later, the main thing I might do off camera is um, move all of those trees 
and flowers that are on that island because I need to either put all those tulips somewhere or sell them all. I might sell them, they're very common tulip flower um, colors, I have them freaking everywhere. If I'm going to do anything with decorative tulips, I would like them to be better colors than just white and yellow. That's just what I happened to have, like, around at the time. So anyway, that's my basic plan for the island there. And then I'm debating on moving the villagers down. Like, where my current kind of large, unkempt flower breeding area is. I'm kind of debating on whether I want to move the villager houses down to that little corner of the island and make more of a neighborhood looking thing. I do like having the houses up on the hill, or some of them. Some of the houses are just up there, and it's not doing anything for me. So I'm debating whether I might want to make an actual little neighborhood down down in the south uh, southeast there, where I have some empty land I'm not actually doing much with. I might keep the couple of houses that I feel like are working up on the mountain. I have like a little cluster of three with like Weber's house, Becky's house, and um, who else lives up there? Mallory's house that I feel like are working quite well as little mountain dwellings. All the ones up top don't seem to be. The only thing I don't like is I don't really have a plan for the top of the mountain. I could do a little viewing area. I could do a little like Harvest Moon story of seasons inspired sort of like up top thing like that like a little top of the mountain viewing platform magical garden sort of thing little hidden garden magic area that could be fun right now i feel like the top of the mountain's a mess and it just has several houses plopped there for no reason is kind of my criticism so anyway, I'm thinking about that. Moving them down, creating a little central garden with a road, and giving everyone their own little yard. And it would probably be around seven, six or seven houses. Maybe six, which would only be three on each side, and I can keep them, like, the mountain ones that I feel like are working up there, and have a little transition. So that might be the new plan. It's going to take me a little bit to move stuff. It's going to cost, like, 600,000 bells to move everything. But, you know, that is how the game functions, and I have... Four million right now in savings because I haven't been spending money on anything. And also, anyone's having trouble getting money in this game. Just getting a couple of inventories full of sea critters every day, it, it's netting me at least a hundred thousand bells a day just getting like two inventories of sea critters while I'm looking for my scallops. It's insane. These things are like brokenly expensive. They sell for so much. And come on, a scallop and no, 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 no! I hate that. I hate that. Oh, Pascal, the character I'm trying to meet, chance character I'm trying to get here, has a chance of spawning in the first three scallops. And you saw how long it took me to find that one scallop. I hate it when you finally find one, and then he doesn't show up. It's awful. I don't know why they made that decision. He should just show up on the first scallop. Because it can take you so long to find a dang scallop, and now you have to start searching all over again. Oh, that's the absolute worst part of the summer expansion in my mind, is that Pascal can show up for the first three scallops. I can't stand it. See an enemy, which is not a scallop, not even a little bit. I'm running out of things to talk about now. <laughs> Come on, that was the right size. Nope. Oof. Where? Oh, where are my scallops? I was hoping this would be faster, and that I would have time to do some beach decoration or something, because the other thing I've been doing is getting a lot of kind of seashell DIYs and saving them in the hopes of, like, doing some random beach decoration with them. But, like, I don't have 
any of them made. I have a million seashells in storage, which is why I'm not picking up seashells right now. I mean, I should still sell them. They sell decently, but I've got way too many seashells right now. Uh-oh. Okay, good. It's not one of the big ones. That might be something. Let's see. Pearl oyster. Still got some inventory room, so we may as well keep going round. Oh, there's a small fry for the horse mackerel contest up there. Still need to get the fish even. Come on. Still need to get the fish. Haven't even completed CJ's Sea Sports Challenge yet. I don't know, this is really where the game has slowed to a crawl for me. I understand it's not 100% necessary to get all these things, but... Oh, this is one of the, like, isopods or something. Almost! Whew! Yes! Swim diagonally. Oh, not, not that's a giant clam. That's okay. I haven't found one of those in a minute. So fine. The big ones that fast and run away, those are like the isopod and the giant clam and some of the rare ones. Alright, three more. My fair looks interesting from back here. You're like, oh, what's that? And then you get there and you're like, oh, this is boring. This is just a bunch of random stuff thrown on the beach. Who put this junk here? I might change out my fa beach fair for, like, a pirate-themed locale. Possibly. We'll see. Or maybe I'll mix them. Maybe it's a pirate-themed beach carnival. We'll see what we keep getting from Gullivar as time moves on. There we are. Give me this. Acorn, okay, one more, and then we gotta go sell, and then I might fish and try this later, because I got one full inventory. <laughs> I found the scallop. I found the dang scallop. Oh, muscle. And now we're full. Alright, let's go sell and see what we get these for, and then maybe I'll fish instead. Oh, summer shell. Uh, excuse me. Don't have anything I want to drop right at the minute, so we might grab that later. Yeah, I do think that I should uh, swim in heels. Hi, guys. What's up? Frigia, I meant to tell you something. Oh, really? You sure you want to tell me in front of Funky? Huh? Ah, never mind the kiddo. Something I need to tell you. Out with it, then. Don't hold back. Cover your ears, Funky. Well, you got something stuck on your face right there. Oh, no. Ate carrot cake earlier. Why did you wait so long to say something? Wasn't sure if you put it there as kind of a... What should I call it? Fashion statement or something? Hi, y'all. I want to sell. Now, unfortunately, CJ doesn't like sea creatures. He won't pay for sea critters. Look at all of this. Oof. Now you can drop seaweed. Seaweed is one of the things that you can like drop on the ground and it leaves a little pile, which is cool. That's nice for decoration. See, look at that. 42. 42,000 bells for that inventory. Right, let's see if we find any small fish. Nope. Frame rate drops there. Uh, 
I don't see any small fish. If I don't, s there's one. Come now. It's a dory. Number one on our small fry. Excuse me. All hanging out in the plaza all the time. That looks way too small. That's like a size one fish. I think I need size two fish. Now I'm questioning myself, even though I just caught one of these dang things. Nothing in this game has annoyed me more than the Scalif not spawning Pascal. Because you just spend 15 to 20 minutes trying to get the dang fish. Is that? That's too small, right? You spend 15 to 20 minutes trying to get Pascal, and then you don't. And it's very infuriating, and this is going to be too small, right? Oh, small fry number two. Okay, so it is those tiny, tiny ones. I was thinking I needed the one size up from that. Silly me. I guess we'll see if that other one is still there by the other beach. I need to do something with this river landscaping as well. I wanted to get my last two flowers, but there's really no reason to do that. Okay. Nope, that's a big one. That's a sea bass. Oop, hello. Conversations are happening. Just in time, Flo is just about to regale us with the tale of her exploits. We're all ears. Gonna love this. Ready for an awesome story. Went to a dinner party. Whole thing was way outside my comfort zone. Oh, dinner parties are wonderful. The hors d'oeuvres and conversation and everyone in their finery. Such fun. Except nobody told me it was a fancy dinner party. I roll up in rocker gear, torn jeans and spiky hair, then I had to figure out ten different spoons. The spoons came out, I just gave up and drank out of a bowl. So there's punk rocker me face down in fancy food. Not my scene. Oh dear, foe. The poor thing. Dinner party etiquette isn't that hard. Let me help you. First, let's talk about spoons. I feel like that's not the point of this story. Tiny fish, tiny fish, I need to find a tiny fish. There it is, tiny fish. Come on. There we go. I cut a horse mackerel. It's about the size of a horse mackerel. <laughs> okay, so there is a green present floating in. Then I will swim for a minute and get those one or two other things that I saw. I feel like presents shouldn't, like, fall in the water anymore. Well, they should, but you could, like, you should be able to go get them now. A magazine. How droll. Okay. In we go. I'm gonna get these couple that I see here as we make our way back up north to get to CJ. If I don't find the scallop now, I'm going to, like, just do it later, because... Finding the scallop is tedious. Oh, weed. Seaweed. How wonderful. I'm so glad of this. Alright. Let's swim out and around a little bit just to see. I do like the sounds of the water. And how the music kind of mutes a little bit. It is kind of nice. Starfish. 
Come now. Where is my... Eh, where is it? Where is my... Anything. Where is my scallop? Are you my scallop? No, that's not a scallop. It's an anemone. Hmm. Are you my scallop? No, you're not my scallop. You're a muscle. Are you my scallop? Yes! Oh yes, you are my scallop. Whew. We did it! We did it, everyone! Congratulations to all of us. You gave valuable moral support. Here you go, Pascal. Left you something I'll dig. Let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Afterthoughts are still thoughts. They just came after other thoughts. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. Bye-bye, Pascal, you little sea rodent. Now I've got to go talk to my other sea rodent. I don't think otters are rodents. They're sea weasels. Sweezels, if you will. You shouldn't, but you could. Oh, wait, I'm... I thought I was further over. Eh, there's bubbles. They may as well. Right? May as well bubbles? May as well bubbles. Don't be another scallop. <laughs> Alright, crab. Look, that wasn't a Nook Miles Plus achievement. We got a full-on Nook Miles achievement. What do you think that's about? What do we get? The otter you know. You otter know. Nice. Organic essences. So I've met Pascal 20 times. Sheesh. It's a lot. 20 days of this. Alright, let's run to home grab any fish that I happen to have. I don't think I have any fish that I necessarily want to make models out of, but I also don't have any fish that are particularly high-priced fish. I've been doing a lot of, like, high-priced fishing. I left a hole here. A lot of the, like, larger river fish are worth a lot this time of year, but haven't seen a ton. I haven't been putting a lot of effort into fishing, especially since the sea critters are getting me so much money. So let's see here. What do I have? Also, I might have some sea critters down here. All right, so sucker fish, we can get that. Red snapper, let's take all these. Sea bass. I actually kind of want to make a model out of the sea bass, just just for fun. Sunnerfish, tilapia, catfish, snapping turtles. See, I'm just keeping a few fish around that I might want models of one day. I don't have a lot of fish to sell. But getting the fish models is not that interesting. The fish models are all small and kind of eh. I had this dream of getting every fish model in the game, but no, it's just, it's, it's gonna take a really long time, which is fine, but it's also not very impressive as a collection. I don't, like, I enjoy collecting things. I do enjoy collecting things, otherwise I wouldn't play these kinds of games, but as a collection, it's not very interesting of a collection. Let's see, this is either gonna be a fish that's worth a lot, or it's going to be a, um black bass.
Black bass. Oh, that's fine. Hello, CJ. What up, Fishonia? Fish, fishy, fish. Wait, fishy, fishy on Nista. Fishonista. Ha ha. Pick a name for your English Sony yet? You caught three fish in a row. Oh, that's gonna make my chat explode. Photo op. What a haul. Wanna sell any of those fish? Cause I wanna buy. Yeah. Yes, please. All that, and all I got from Pascal was a pearl. Which is fine overall, but still. I want to get a sea bass model just because it, it's a C plus bass. You know, I, don't, I wonder how many people actually bothered getting a sea bass model because everyone's so annoyed with them by now. <laughs> Make me a collectible. There you go. Partner's on it. Off we go. Alright, let's go sell the rest of this. I'm kind of hoping that I do get 140 altogether today. That's like basically bells that I made the entire day. I don't mind spending that much, spending a lot of bells on frivolous things right now. Like, I did buy, I, it came up. I didn't buy the other one. One of the like million dollar crowns came up and I bought it. It was the big one. The other one came up, which was tiny. And it was like, why? Why am I buying two of these? Why should I buy a tiny one? At this point, I need 11,000 bells and I can afford that violin. Ah, dang it. Alright, I only need 5,000 more. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. I've got two options here for 5,000 bells. I'm gonna see what's around. I can either, well, one, I can pick up all of these shells because I've got way more shells than I need for crafting materials right now. So I can pick up all these shells, I can see if there's any fish since CJ is here, and I can go into the ocean and get more, uh, get more critters. CJ did not offer me much for those fish because I'm not getting very high priced fish right now. Even though I'd kind of like to. Moon jelly. I'm going to go up this way, see if I see anything while I pick up these shells. Look at all these little empty stretches of beach I have. So much potential that I should be using on something. I got myself so annoyed when I have to look for the frickin' scallop, when I just want to get an extra 5,000 bells. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go do this thing I was bored of 10 seconds ago. It's a lot of bubbles, what do we got here? Alright, you're a biggin'. In my experience, the biggins don't necessarily sell for more. I don't know they should. Shouldn't that thing sell for more <laughs> than some of the other stuff? You would think so. I'm gonna swim around to the secret beach and grab all this stuff. Between these and the shells, I should be easy, easily able to get the 5,000 that I need. <laughs> that violin is one of the more expensive items you can buy. And I have one. So I want to buy it and give it to Flo. Not Flo. Give it to Flora. Give it to my flamingo friend. <laughs> My favorite villager, who I can never remember the name of. Probably because every villager on the island starts with an F name.
Come on now. Eh. Now we did have a visitor to the island the other day. We had a had a camper, and it was awful. I don't know. It was some kind of duck that looked so derpy. I don't know what words to use to describe it. It was just awful looking, as a, as like a character. There's another big one. So the thing with these big ones is you kind of have to go diagonal to where they're going, and drive them back towards one of the walls. There we go, because they can outswim you. The big ones are faster than you are. So if you see one that's moving fast, you kind of have to position yourself so that you drive it towards one of the walls, because it can't get too close to the edges. Now the sea pineapple. Alright, let's head back home. Down. Don't quite know where we are. Ah, perfect. Now, if that doesn't get us 5,000 bells, this is just not meant to be. This rose garden needs to be something better. I need to put up some walls or something. Having a rose garden out there is actually not a bad idea. Rose gardens are kind of neat. We could have like an actual one with paths and things. Maybe a sign because it's a museum, so it's got like a little natural garden out front. Okay, let's sell, not that. Keep the rare shell. That all of these things can sell. There we go, that is much more than the 5,000 that I needed. I'm gonna have some money left over. All right, 140 bells, 140,000 bells, that is. You see, with the frickin', uh, with the frickin' um, sea life there, the, the new sea life, you can get that easy. I made all that in one day, basically. With the, between the rock, the tree, and the, um, the rock, the tree, and the other thing, than the, the selling the sea life. This is for you. Oh my god, thing. Here we go, fancy violin. I am for sure you can have this. I've had my own one for a while. I'm going to show you this house as soon as I figure out where to put it. I get full body tights. Ooh, that's... Okay, hey, would you like some full body tights, Sprocket? I'm going to do a few hundred laps around the island. You want something? How about some full body tights? I don't think you can wear these. Full body tights. I'm going to look great flexing in this. Oh, you can wear them. Wait, that's... Flex my gratitude models. Has some culverals with arms. That, that doesn't look like full body tights. It looks like a raincoat. All right, let's put some stuff away. Well, that took a bit longer than I envisioned. Some episodes are going to be shorter, depending. I'm going to do my best to get set up for next episode. I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. I'm busy tomorrow. But I'm going to do my best to actually get set up for the episode, uh, for the next episode, get stuff moved on that island. Get stuff kind of ready. The shadow on my face gives me like a 5 o'clock shadow. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for me. I hope that you had a good time. Uh, calmly and correctly hit the like button. You know, decimate it, if you will. Do all of the things, socials, etc. Uh, I'm going to be around more. Other series coming. It's, it's going to be off and on. I'm working on stuff as I enjoy it. I'm going to put it out when it's finished. That is my new plan. So I hope that works out. Uh, I'm glad to be back. Look forward to some more videos. Thank you very much for joining me today, and I will see you next time.